a Jason with 4 Minute Tech Review. So this is not quite a tech review. This is just a helpful tip for people that have ponds during the winter time. I have a 10,000 gallon um, koi pond that also has 200 tilapia in it, plus some goldfish. And in Florida, uh, we've been getting a little bit of cold weather. So my temperatures drop down to 60 during the day and about 55 at night. Blue tilapia die at about 45 degrees and we're gonna have about five days of 32 degrees weather. So I've come up with a little bit of an invention. Actually, another YouTuber had posted this and um, pretty much used very similar setup. I have a pump that I got from Lowe's with a shark bite on it that goes to um, Plex piping. And then it goes into a nice little uh, outdoor cooker burner. Um, cost me a hundred bucks for the pot and the burner. You can get them for about 50 if you get like the fryer. Um, I went with this one because it can handle a bigger pot. Plus this pot is a 40 um, quart pot in comparison to the one that comes with the fryers is 30. The plex that I put in here is a hundred feet and I'm maintaining a temperature right around 115 degrees. The temperature that's coming out of the pipe, so essentially it comes from the pipe, from the pump into here. I spiraled it a couple times. I zip tied it because you wanna make sure it's off the bottom of the pot. If you have it on the bottom, it will burn the plex um, because the bottom is so hot from the fire. The spirals go through, around and around, and then it comes back out and goes back into the pond. I'm getting about 80 degrees coming out. So going in with about 60, 59, 60, and coming out with about 80. So my pond's already rose two degrees and it's been running for about an hour. The trickiest part is messing with this little valve here to try to get it to maintain a steady temperature because you don't want to cook your fish. So during the winter, this works. We don't have many cold days. Um, it's a lot better than getting a five or six hundred dollar heater and having a 220 line ran to here because 10,000 gallons require a significant heater. Uh, plus it's safer because there's no electric going into your pond so you can't fry your fish. I've seen a lot of people fry their fish before. Um, I've had the tilapia for about a year now, well, about eight months, and they tripled in size and they should be ready for harvest hopefully mid next year. Um, this is Jason with 4 Minute Tech Review. Sorry about the mess. And like I said, this is not really a technology review, but this is just to help someone out that has a pond during the winter that really needs something quick and doesn't want to wait on Amazon for the uh, shipment to come in because by that time your water will be so cold your fish will be dead. Have a great day.